What up guys and welcome back to TV Time with Jay and today we are covering the premiere of Archer season 11. Welcome back to the Danger Zone people because the crew is back and we are spies once again. I am so excited. So as per usual with my episode reviews I'll be recapping the events of both episodes so if you have not seen the episodes yet do yourself a favor. Watch the episodes first, then come back here and tell me your thoughts and feels in the comments down below because I will be going into spoiler territory. You have been warned. Okay, so before we get started, you know, let me go ahead and just kind of make my thoughts clear about the previous seasons. Uh, I covered all three Dreamland seasons on my um, original channel. Unfortunately, that channel is now terminated. Uh, so I can't really just kind of point in the direction of those videos anymore for reference. But, you know, overall, I was not a fan of any of those seasons. Uh, Dreamland, Danger Island, and um, I forget the last one, the Space One, 2099. Um, yeah, did not like any of those seasons. I mean, don't get me wrong, each season had some pretty solid episodes. Like, at least one or two really great ones. But, other than the animation quality, I just wasn't a fan. I felt like this whole, like, coma, dream sequence, different genre every season thing, uh, was just Ardra kind of overextending a gimmick uh, that didn't need to drag on for this long. Now, granted, they changed genres a lot. In Archer, I mean, they went from spies to this whole drug dealing thing with Archer Vice, and then, you know, the whole LA detective thing, and then, you know, that's when Dreamland ended up happening. Uh, so, like, changing genres isn't anything new, but I felt like with the Dreamland seasons, uh, they were all pretty unfocused. It just felt like they were just kind of like playing with a gimmick. And uh, not really trying to, like, tell a story with it anymore. And the characters just kind of felt like the same characters that they were always. And didn't really progress anywhere in terms of development. But of course they couldn't because, you know, this was just Archer's coma dream. So they couldn't really move forward as characters. So, like, the gimmick itself was uh, pretty limiting. But now we're back to uh, where we belong. You know, ISIS is now a international spy organization again, and it's pretty exciting. So, what did I think about the uh, first two episodes? So, the first episode, the Orpheus Gambit, is uh, the you know proper introduction to the season, and it has an amazing opening scene of the ISIS crew, like you know, doing a badass like infiltration spy mission. You got Cyril. Lana, Krieger, new and improved, better Cheryl, and of course, you know, you see Mallory and different things like that, and, uh, you know, at the end of that, they get the news that Archer woke up from the coma, and so we cut to three months later, Archer is uh, in his uh, mess of an apartment, because of course, no more Woodhouse, R.I.P., and uh, he's depressed, he, you know, hasn't really gone back to work, and uh, he keeps firing every possible replacement butler that they uh, Mallory sent his way um, just because, you know, there's no replacing Woodhouse. So, he ends up getting back to work, and naturally since it's been three fucking years um, you know everyone's moved on. You know, there are new jokes, new dynamics um, there are some big changes I mean, Cyril is actually pretty fucking competent now and he is cut like a motherfucker, which is uh, pretty impressive. So uh, that was dope. And they all have new inside jokes. You know, certain old jokes aren't used anymore, like sploosh. You know, we haven't heard of phrasing. They're not just relying on old humor and catchphrases, which, you know, I feel like was a big weakness of the, you know, coma seasons. You know, they're actually trying something new. Uh, you know, the humor... It feels like it's the same vibe, but they're using, you know, different jokes. Uh, they're back to, like, the more, like, witty reference humor. The dialogue is a lot sharper. The, the back and forth is uh, really, like, fresh, it feels like. 
And, you know, I enjoyed it because uh, you are kind of put in the place of Archer, right? Because, you know, they're using all these new jokes and there's this new dynamic and banter back and forth. Like, you know, Ray and Cyril being friends and, you know, Cheryl not being an absolute fucking maniac. Uh, it's pretty interesting. Um, and, of course, like the biggest reveal of the first episode is that Lana is married now to some billionaire dude. And uh, that's pretty awesome. You know, at least the one thing that, um, you know, hasn't changed too much is Pam. And Pam and Archer's friendship, which was, a, you know, obviously a huge recurring theme throughout the coma seasons, that remains pretty much intact you know uh, they have a nice moment where they bond and you know get to hang out and joke around really enjoyed that and um overall the first episode was a, a good reintroduction to the cast like setting up the new character dynamics and archer readjusting to the world which by the way his tactile cane is awesome as someone who uses crutches regularly, I was like, man, Cyril, can I have one of those crutches that adapt to your brain waves, that, like, predict your moves and enhance them? I fucking want them. I want those so bad. I could kick so much ass with those crutches. Oh, man. I mean, you know, uh, if it, just let me know what I got to do, Krieger. Let me know what I got to do. I will uh, definitely pay for those with my meager ad revenue or uh, whatever but yeah so the first episode really solid uh, it felt like old archer but you know they finally taken a breather or you know waking up from their coma uh, it is no longer coma o'clock uh, things are starting to get back to normal, you know, or at least the Archer equivalent of normal. Um, and it was pretty dope. So the second episode was action-packed as hell. It was like a uh, King of Fighters style tournament, you know, uh, basic setup. Um, criminal bad guy owns an island, hosts a upscale high-stakes martial arts tournament. And now that Sir, uh, Cyril is super buff... And uh, apparently has had uh, martial arts training thanks to Pam. He's out here kicking ass in the tournament. Up until the point where he ends up fighting uh, one of the top champions. And then getting his ass kicked while Archer and Lana do some uh, stealth infiltration. Archer tries to do his usual pre-coma Archer thing and go all gun-ho and blam blam. And uh, of course... You know, these reckless actions get them caught. They manage to break free. And um, Pam actually intercepts Cyril from getting his ass beat by one of the champions. Which triggers the, like, owner of the tournament and island. And he's like, alright, since you interfered, you have to battle to the death with the dragon fighter. This mysterious masked warrior who turns out to be none other than old... Archer, you know, side character, fan favorite, Conway Stern. And so Conway and Pam battle it out while having a pun off with a bunch of different, like, references. There are a lot of Glenn Close ones, different movie references all throughout. It was a lot of fun. Uh, the back and forth exchange was pretty good. Um, and, you know, of course, Pam kicked Major S. And, of course, you know, Archer seeing this, he uses his tactile cane to, uh, you know, fall through the ceiling interrupt the fight, cut off Conway's foot, and, you know, basically, you know, do what Archer does. Turn everything to shit and uh, burn the place down. Um, now, they managed to basically disrupt the place enough to, um, you know, blow it up or at least, you know, wreck it uh, and uh, get away. Their mission isn't exactly accomplished, but they were able to disrupt, you know, this uh, criminal's, you know, activities and organization so it's a kind of win and of course archer being archer he leaves cereal behind so overall once again um it takes up the episodic nature of classic archer while still having the 
overarching character subplots. Um, Lana and Archer readjusting to each other, the entire um, ISIS crew, like, readjusting to Archer being back in the dynamic, and, of course, Archer um, experiencing the rest of the world now that it's post-coma. And uh, what I'm really excited for is for Archer to eventually meet AJ, because AJ will be three years old now. So that's going to be really, really interesting. I am so happy that this season is both a return to form and a massive improvement. I absolutely love these first two episodes. But let me know your thoughts and feels in the comments down below. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Uh, do you prefer the coma seasons? And if you do, tell me why. Which ones were your favorite? Let me know all those thoughts and feels in the comments down below as always. Don't forget to leave this video a like to let me know you enjoyed it. And if you like what I do here and you want to see more from me, be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. I know I talked a little fast there, but I promise it's just the usual YouTube stuff. Uh, you know, like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notification bell. I will be reviewing Archer Season 11 every week. So definitely if you want to keep hearing my thoughts on these episodes as they drop, uh, hit that subscribe button like I said. Uh, in the outro card, I will leave linked a video YouTube mysterious algorithm thinks you might like, as well as my most recent upload, which in this case is the Mandalorian um, Season 2 trailer reaction video that I did. So definitely check that out. Uh, hopefully you'll enjoy it. But until next time, guys, this is Jay from TV Time with Jay, and I'll see you next time we enter the Danger Zone. Peace. <laughs>